Good morning, beautiful people. It is March the 22nd, 2013 at 9.47 a.m. It's a little bit cold outside today here in Florida, and um, we're kind of having winter in the springtime, and we had summer all winter, <laughs> and you know, it's, it's just how it is. Um, man, the global meditation the other day was just intense. It the light that was building up to that time was so immense. Uh, and I'm hearing now that uh, after the meditation and getting through the equinox yesterday, uh, how many of us are just taking time to relax. And it's, uh, it's hard to hold uh, those next levels of vibration every time until your physical being gets accustomed to it. And, um, and you can attune to it. It's almost, uh, oh, there is no one on this planet that can just jump into the highest light right off the bat without killing their physical being. You've got to slowly raise your vibration and do your detox from the thoughts and emotions at the quantum level, the space between the atoms within your field. It's just like a, cleaning out the galaxy and then each cell is kind of like um like a galaxy within itself and we've got to to clean and clear our little uh atomic particles within ourselves the protons electrons neutrons all the the subatomic particles and uh and change the magnetics within the field. And then that discharges through our cells and then we feel it physically in our body. Now, it's really interesting to look back on what happened. And I thank every one of you who participated in the Unified Focus Group Meditation in whatever way that you were called to do, because we did it. Um, my message, after it was over on the evening of the 19th was we had made the magic mark which is the square root of one percent of the planetary population which is somewhere between seven thousand and eight thousand persons when i asked deeper for uh a more specific number of persons who joined in my message was 9,000 people and then I had other persons who channel messages say they were receiving the same number and so that's always a confirmation for me I use channel messages as confirmation for uh, that message that I received myself it is interesting to see the difference between the activists who were playing third and fourth dimensional games and the light workers like warriors who are 560 and higher and how many of the activists who are in their heads in their egos trying to deny the power of unified focus meditations like this asking for proof and boy did they come out of the woodwork they those activists and the disinfo agents and there are many disinfo agents out there which you might think of as spiritual leaders or teachers and they're always trying to do whatever they do on the exterior of themselves rather than using the power of the light within that power of light within comes from the embodiment of your soul self Everybody feels that little flicker, a little flame within. And that's the beginning of your relationship with source. Um, when you start feeling that flicker and you want to amplify it. But there is a process that each and every one of us go through and must go through to increase our levels of light and vibration and then clearing of our thoughts and perceptions and our physical being at the cellular level. We are clearing things that we've carried with us for many, many lifetimes. We are clearing things that uh, we've done to ourselves or that's been done to us, the magnetics, the karmas, um, that it's those magnetics in the karma that creates what you receive into your field for your learning lessons. It, it is the law of attraction that uh, allows that to happen. 
magnetics are thoughts and perceptions. It's, it's memories of what you've done or what's been done to you or your limitations because of your thoughts and perceptions. Every time you're in a constant state of thinking about things, and that's the difference between many of the activists and those that are on the light worker, light warrior path, um, the true light worker and light warrior is already in 5D, which is meaning he has shifted his consciousness and ascended by shifting that consciousness into the heart and expanding, creating and expanding the electromagnetic torrid or the electrical field around your being. And you see that as the light, just like you see here in the couch behind me. That is the light that's within. That is true light. It is developed by your chakras. It's developed by your clearing. And I've heard many of these activists who are leader disinfo agents say that that's a false light. Well, that's an impossibility uh, <laughs> because that's the embodiment of your higher self and your physical being. If you think that when you feel that little bitty flame that's within your heart, that's all that is, you're just beginning the process, period. There is only one false light, and that comes from the ego. That's come, it comes from thinking you are something special, that you are separate from source, that you are fine by yourself. Well, in mastery, you will find that you are connected to the one, but the love that you have for yourself, the self-realization, who you are, the embodiment of that higher being that you are into this field is what activates the chakras. That is the true light. The false light comes from, if I was to think of myself as Bill Ballard, and Bill Ballard has gotten all these uh, degrees and gone to school at so-and-so and, and uh, looks important to the exterior of so many other persons. And I have so many people following me and I'm the leader. Everybody listen to what I say because I've read these books or I've been taught and trained all this stuff. That is false light. Um, <laughs> the real way showers, there's a difference between the leaders of the activists and the way showers of five and six D and higher leaders being uh, in the three and 40 and those persons five and 60 and higher is those in five and 60 and higher, the way showers, the light workers, the light warriors, they can tell you right off the bat, there is nothing I can do to activate you. You have to activate yourself. And by that, you have to get out of the brain and move into the heart, which creates the electromagnetic toward the energy field, which is around you and that's just the very beginning that is in a constant state of ever expanding the more you clear the more light you can hold the more wattage you can handle within the physical being the more you can hold of your higher self and truly you are all that is uh there are activists out there the leaders <laughs> who are saying that you don't want to take any light from the external sources, that that's false light. That's a bunch of baloney. If that was true, uh, then we would have ascended Earth in all these thousands of years. We would have already made the changes, but because of our unified group focused meditations, harmonic convergence and the ones preceding that, and the ones following that, like the opening the 11-11 the doorway, generating because unified group focused thought that portal between mother earth and the galactic center to allow the frequencies to come into mother earth to raise the frequencies of the planet the consciousness of the planet and allowing persons to ascend to move their consciousness from their head to their heart and remain as fifth dimensional beings on third and fourth dimensional mother earth this had never been done before 1992 it couldn't we got there because of unified group meditations so for those activists out there who say that 
There is no power in group meditation. You think with your smaller self. You're thinking with your ego. You think you have power and we need to change everything on the exterior of us. We can change this government by going out there and with our hands, we'll vote for somebody else or, or, or the others out there at Freedom Reigns Radio. Pick up our guns and have the militias and we're going to go, we're going to take them all to jail and arrest them. Um, people, if you're doing this, you are playing at 4D max and you're in your head and it doesn't matter how you tell people you're in your heart. You're not. If you are hearing brain chatter and you're always thinking blah, 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 blah. You think because my speaking to you right now that I might be in the brain. No, I have a concept that comes within my electromagnetic toward into my heart and the brain is used like a computer to decipher it into the thought, the vision and the proper wording to speak it forth. I am not thinking about what I'm saying. It is a flow. That is what 5D, 6D and higher is. Somebody uh, left a comment on my YouTube site. Where do you get your information from? I read the field. I read the Akash. I read the energies that are around or I ask my higher self or those guides. And I've always been one who... Uh, like someone learning to walk and I remember learning to walk. I remember pulling my, my hands and myself up to the table and going, leave me alone. I want to walk. I feel the same way about my guides. My guides are a part of me. I am a fragment of them or they have chosen to take care and lead me. But for the most part, I have wanted to pull myself up and walk myself rather than holding on to mommy and daddy's hands and saying, do this for me until I got it. I want to take the train wheels off and just go for a spin myself. And I remember that. And that's what mastery is all about. For me, um, many people use their guides, but what you're doing is you get to a certain point where you just want to run free and you use your guides when you have to for your protection, for some higher understanding when you're kind of a little bit um, uncertain of which way to go. And so many persons are waking up right now and they are listening to these persons in the three and 4D leaders who talk about false light, who talk about uh, global meditations don't work, who talk about OPPT doesn't do anything for you, just show me the money. And, uh, and it's kind of confusing to those persons just waking. And what's going to end up happening is those individuals are going to have to go through. It's like coming through the walls of Jericho. And you had these giant walls, which encased all the ancient cities. And then you had this little tunnel that went through the wall from the exterior of the city to the interior of the city called the needle. Once you walk through the needle with your camel, camel taking your camel through the eye of a needle, um, you had to make up a choice which direction you're going. And that's what is so interesting by so many with so many people that are newly awakening. Um, because of their vibration, they're finding a lot of these activists out there that are denying the truth of the mechanics of how things work. Because they themselves, those activists, have not reached that level of understanding. They have not done it themselves. And they're going to see things as dark. I saw... One post from somebody uh, who I used to, who I still respect quite a great deal, and I respect all these guys for what they're doing, but they are at certain levels. And this individual who unfriended me on Facebook not too long ago, about a year ago, said, are we actually in the positive timeline? Yes, we are. But everybody, depending on their vibrational level, is going to choose to attract into their life Whatever it is, they keep their focus, their thoughts, perceptions, and their limitations upon. And if you keep on thinking there's false light, if you keep on thinking that it's all about just what is just inside you, but on an egotistical way from the head, then you're going to attract those other people who think that we need to go to war, who think that, that the FEMA camps are just for them. That's what they're attracting. That's what they're going to bring into their life. And uh, those newly waking up people are causing some 
uh, issues with themselves and they're learning the differences in directions and those activists are ended up going to receive the magnetics and the karma for that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to try this. It said on uh, YouTube I could upload longer videos than 15 minutes. And so I'm going to continue on with this conversation. <sighs> Previously, I'd always stopped at the 15 minute mark. And uh, I just saw two days ago that uh, that limit has been raised. Anyway, um, the persons that are considering themselves leaders by being in their head and, and all about themselves, whoever their mamas name them, thinking they lead other people and everybody needs to follow them, you'll see how many times these individuals are not right in things they say. You'll also see how dark they look at things. Um, yes, things are crazy out there. It's going to be when this level of light is coming into the planet by those of us who are activating, who are holding the highest light, and by what's going on with the sun and the galactic center, the, the CMEs that are coming from the sun's excitement because of the photon belt and the magnetic waves coming from the galactic center. That is what is allowing this transformation of our body as the mag Earth's magnetosphere is fading away. We're losing a quarantine. That quarantine was that magnetic focus that was upon us that kept us in a state before. Um, that state had been there since the last time we went through the photon belt 13,000 years ago. We do this twice every procession of equinoxes. We do it twice every 26,000 years we come into the photon belt. What is different this time is as we're aligning with the galactic center through Sirius, we are entering magnetics and those magnetics are changing our sun and they're changing earth. And as earth's magnetosphere that shielded those magnetics away from us collapses, it's allowing us to change Physically, that is changing our DNA. It's changing everything about the way these physical beings are. And um, that is what is allowing for the ascension. Yes, it is occurring from exterior of us by divine decree, by however these magnetics are playing out. Whoever sets up the universe, and truly it's all of us. <laughs> through our unified focused thought, because <laughs> we are all from the one creator having our individual fragmental experience. Um, <sighs> oh man, it is so interesting to see so many of the persons who, who preach the preach, but don't necessarily walk their talk. Um, how they're separating and really being shown as fourth dimensional beings, thinking that we're going to have this great transfiguration transformation in a blink of an eye. Well, over the whole galactic cycle, it is a blink of an eye. It is what has occurred in the past few years, 10 years, 12 years now, as those of us are lighting up is the blink of an eye on a cosmic scale. It is happening that way. But so many people do not understand it's a process. It is a process of changing your perception of wanting something better, connecting to source, the first ascension initiation. These things still hold true. The second ascension initiation is a time. It's, it's a period of time where you have to be seen as really wanting to hold that focus. You're holding that thought, that vision from that heart that you want to change. And then it starts manifesting in your life. You start embodying more of your soul. For those persons that are the leaders that are coming from a religious background that thinks they have their whole soul inside them, they have no concept of what's truly going on. Your soul is so big, so vast, 
at such a high vibration, you have to slowly, slowly integrate that soul into your body. And that soul only comes in and integrates as you change your perceptions, as you call it forth, as you raise your frequency, as you clear those old magnetics, the karma, the perceptions, the thought patterning within your field. And you can hold more and more of that light of that soul of which you truly are. Now, the fourth ascension initiation is learning how to allow soul to guide you, to direct your life. You're surrendering. You're surrendering control to the soul. You are beginning to move out of that ego. You are preparing for ascension. You have not ascended until you move that consciousness out of the ego, that thinking all the time, and into your heart. And everything changes at that point. But that's just the beginning. And it's only until you activate all seven of the original physical chakras of your earth transportation mechanism, activating that true light, and you get out of that false light, and you move completely into your heart, that you have truly become an ascended master. But you're just a baby ascended master. There's 352 initiations all total. And when you first shift your consciousness into your heart and activate that electromagnetic field, activate your heart chakra, stepping into the light, that is only the fifth of the ascension initiations. There are 352 just within this universe. And it goes farther as you go through your multi-universal such an initiations. I mean, it's an ongoing process. Now, oh man, it is just so funny to look and see all the persons that were trying to stop this unified focus meditation on 319. Well, we accomplished it. We accomplished our mission. Persons say, well, it should be instantly done. No. It's not because of the vibration of the planet. These things take time. Depending on the vibration of the planet, the, at the lower vibrations of the planet, just like harmonic convergence, it took a long time for things to manifest. As we opened the 1111 doorway and started really increasing the frequency of the planet and then had all the various unified focus thought um, meditations on the gate activations, the, uh, the 11 various gates that we went through raising the frequency of the planet, which raised the consciousness of humanity. And you saw it as a result in technology, and you saw it as a result of per persons becoming more spiritual, more into 4D and less into the 3D. Um, from that point, it allowed us to raise the frequency of the planet to have these shifts. The frequencies are still increasing, and as the frequencies increase, our unified focus meditations will take less of us for one thing, but it will also increase that which we meditate on much more quickly. It's just the mechanics of how things work. There's a lot of these leaders out there that if you consider it like a car, they just want to jump in their car and they want to be able to put gas in it and drive. And they haven't come to the understanding of the mechanics of how that car is made. The ascension of this physical vehicle that we're in. And, you know, some of us really want to know the mechanics of ascending this vehicle that we are in. We want to know how to find the ore, how to mine the ore, how to refine the ore, how to make alloys out of the ore, how to make the tools necessary to produce the vehicle, how to make all the integrations of the tools, and then later come up with the concepts of the higher understanding to build the engines, to build all the different parts of the vehicle, all the tools you know that it requires to do that, and build our vehicle. And that's what ascension is. And so, you know, for these persons that just want to jump in it and say, "Oh, I already got soul right here, and that's that's the only light, and I don't need anything outside," you don't even understand the mechanics of it. And so, there is a process here, and it's a process that each and every one of us must go through. 
And I'm still so very grateful for these individuals that are holding that three and 40. And they're going to have to come to their realizations and change that perceptions because there's only one way to ascend and it's not going to be done for you. Now, I do want to say, because this one individual that was talking so much about false light, um, <laughs> because he's religious in his background and religion and spiritual are two totally separate things. Um, he also speaks of uh, the extraterrestrials as he claims he's been abducted so many times there's no abductions there never have been abductions that's the, the people who he goes with are the soul groups that he's from if he's really going through it and it could be an attention thing if he's in his ego there's so much false information coming out of there these that person and the individuals that are associated with them that's third and fourth dimensional that uh oh man there's so much not correct information there that I even wonder if there's truth to the stories that he tells or if it's an attention thing. And it doesn't matter to me. That's their deal. <laughs> and everybody attracts into his stories. Now, um, our ET brethren the ones that are of the, the light forces, the ones that are in the light ships that you see out there, these guys are fifth dimensional and higher. They're not going to lower themselves into fourth dimensional status at the vibration of earth as it is now for any length of time because it's so uncomfortable. It's just like me when I go listening to these person's videos that are the leaders and they're fourth dimensional. It, it it churns my stomach. It makes me sick. It's it, it is lower vibration and not of the light and not correct information. And they're searching, searching, searching and trying to come up with something so that they can lead people and have their income from donations or their speeches or their different gatherings and conventions that they have, which do wake people up. It gives them the information. But it's just like me listening to their information. It churns my stomach because it's at a lower vibration. It is coming from the ego. It's coming from the head. It's not coming from the heart. Um, they might think it is, but they haven't yet understood what it really is when you come from the heart. And it's a totally different ballgame. It is a totally different ballgame. And you can see it. And you can see it in the light around the individuals. Digital cameras are so wonderful because they act like Carillion photography without seeing all the rainbowed colored lights. You can actually see in both sides of me how my aura, how that light from my activated chakras, the real light, affects everything around me. You can see it whether it's outside or inside. And Carillion photography just, just turns that light into the rainbows of the various vibrations as they emanate from the chakras. <laughs> You know, the seven seals, you know, from these persons that say it's the false light who come from a religious background, it's opening the seven seals. That is what the seven seals are. <laughs> so their whole deal is just, a, it's amusing, but it's sickening to me. And our ET brethren that they say are going to land, they're not going to land until we raise the frequency of the planet. They're not going to land and walk among us until we do this. And that's up to us to do it. And it's all about us activating, us stepping into our mastery, us holding our light. And we change everything that is around us. And it takes a while to do that. We are walking antennas. We are emanating the light to the exterior of our field. And we are transmuting the darkness and the lower vibrations going out. And that's what we do as light workers and light warriors and fifth dimensional and sixth dimensional and higher. And these persons who are in their head that says they can attune to those dimensions, no. You can only attune to the dimension that is at the next level above you. And that's it. That's all there is. You can only read from the kosh in the level of dimension that you actually hold. And me is living in 5 and 6D, 6D being spherical in concept, 5D still being linear, but both from the heart. I can only attune to 7th dimensional, 8th dimensional, 9th dimensional. The, the, it, it, well, 
it's not only attuned to those, but uh, I can read into the the levels of magnetics in the 10th, 11th, and 12th, but I do not see those very clearly. Um, you can only see what's immediately in front of you in right now. Um, we have the capability of attuning up to the 22nd dimension at Earth's frequency at the current status, but um, and that will continue growing as we increase our frequency and we are transforming and transfiguring with Mother Earth. And anyway, it's pretty complicated. Only until someone has reached certain levels can they take those next levels above them and comprehend them. You cannot understand what it's like to hold the level of light and the level of vibration um, when you're in 3 and 4D that a fifth dimensional person holds until you get to 5D. It's just, there's no way to, to, even though you might be able to see it in someone's aura, you cannot understand what it feels like. You cannot understand how the functions of this earth transportation mechanism changes um, until you, you do it. It's almost like antique cars that just function because it was, and then you applied a computer to it. You gave it a heart. And that's kind of the difference that um, is happening as you shift from the brain and into the heart. It's just like taking the antique um, earth transportation vehicle and you put a computer into it and you made it high performance. Now, that's, that's is easy of a way to explain the differences I possibly can do at this point. Anyway, I'm done talking. It's going to take a while to upload this video and at 31 minutes and 44 seconds. I'm going to see if, uh, see if it'll do it. Anyway, love you all. Bye for now. Thanks to everybody who participated in that meditation. We, we did it. We did it. And I tell you, we did it with, uh, persons that are activists that should be right there with us also trying to stop us and to trip us up as well as the dark side trying to trip us up too. But that is when, when we do things like that, that's when we truly have help from the galactics because they add their light to our light also. And then we get the results that we were looking for. And it's truly wonderful, truly magnificent. Well, I hope this loads up at 32 minutes and 33 seconds. Anyway, love y'all. Bye for now.